Yo, what's up guys, Steezy Collector back with another Star Wars action figure review. This time I got the Phase 1 Dark Trooper. So I picked this guy up um, a while ago from Matthew Sanders in a um, sort of a bit of a, a lot. I bought a couple figures off him in one go. And yeah, I got this guy for a really great price. I think I spent like 15 bucks on him, 15 Australian dollars. So Dark Troopers are just um, fully robotic. Stormtroopers, I guess, that were made to combat against the Rebels. Uh, they were, the production for these guys was on the Ark Hammer, which was a factory ship that the Imperials had that was pumping out these guys. But, yeah, they... The Ark Hammer got destroyed and these guys went down with it, sort of like in Episode 1. How the uh, ship got blown up and all the droids turned off, because they had nothing sending signals out to them. So, sort of same thing happened, I guess from what I have gathered. So, looking at this guy, two weapons, well, one weapon and a shield. So he has a vibro blade, I think vibro sword, vibro blade, in one on, well, connected to the forearm of one arm, and then he has a blast shield. So a very unique design, very skeletal look to him, which I really dig. A real skinny frame, bunch of wires sticking out on him, which I think, yeah, looks pretty cool. Gives it like a, uh, yeah, skeletal, robotic Terminator-ish look. So, head sculpt like always, which I really dig this head sculpt. Sort of looks like he has teeth, which I think looks really cool. Teeth and then tusks coming down, but which is sort of just the uh, Stormtrooper helmet shape. But with this part taken out, it, yeah, it gives me the look of teeth. Like how he has the red eyes in there. Sort of like a Robocop look. In a way, I know that's the sort of feel I get off it. Get the uh, bumps on his head. And, yeah. So I think it looks really cool. I dig the uh, teethy, grinny look that it has a lot. So, going down the figure. Very skinny in the middle here. He's got a bunch of wires and sort of pistons looking, looking things. Which I think looks looks pretty pretty good. Does its job making him look like a robot. And down the back. Thighs are pretty bland. They could pass as just armor. Not very robotic looking, really. These uh sort of wires here don't inhibit any articulation. It articulates just as well with them as it would without them. So, yeah. Alright. Vibro sword, vibro blade. This is where the articulation isn't hindered, it's just, um, as you can see here, the uh, wire has come out, there's a hole for it to stick in there, and you can push it in, but if you move it to the side, it pops out or it feels like it's going to break which I would not want so I'm just going to take that out for now give you a look at the vibro sword which I don't think is removable or it might be I'm not 100% sure yeah, it probably would be removable if you jiggle it around a bit it's a little bit loose but I aha so it is removable Pretty simple design, just a uh, silver blade connected to the main bit then just goes into the arm um, via that hole, so pops in pretty easily, so that's cool, I didn't know that came out, so it's on the outside of the uh, forearm, so I like that, leaves his hand free for something, be cool. You could have like a blaster or something, I guess. And then onto the blast shield, which really reminds me of an um, Umbrella Corp logo from Resident Evil when I first saw this. It's a little bit dusty. Yeah, pretty basic, just uh, grey on the back, with the design, and then silver paint apps pretty clean so I do like that a lot pretty solid 
So now, uh, what they did here with the shoulders, which I thought was pretty clever, they have these, so it's got all the normal articulation, Does arms don't really go too far out, but they have this sort of square articulation, it's a little bit weird, you can really feel the, the stages of it I guess, you can feel it sort of locks in place, sort of locks in place, and then Again, it sort of locks in place, doesn't really have all the greatest articulation in the arms. And then it just rotates here, 360, and the head is on a ball joint. Same with the other side, and you can rotate 360, but not if you have that plugged in. Of course, normal uh, elbow articulation. You've got 360 swivel in the wrist. You've got waist articulation, 360. Hinged, um, hinged hips, and then you've got the normal articulation in the ankles, but you don't really want to be spinning that too much. I don't want to break these, but yeah, this doesn't in inhibit the uh, swivel of the knee going forward and back at all. And then ankle articulation, 360, and then the hinge goes up that far. So. Yeah, pretty solid overall, I really dig the look of him, uh, my favourite bit of him would have to be the, the teeth, the looking, I don't, know, I don't really know how to describe it, but it sort of looks like teeth, which I think looks awesome, so yeah, phase one, dark trooper, give him his little shield, um, which he doesn't really hold all that well, which is another gripe I have. Um, a little bit weird to, a little bit hard to put in there as well. That's what she said. But yeah, he's not holding it at all. He's not having it. So I guess I'll just put that there. Alright, there it is, phase one dark trooper. So give me a like if you enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.